most of you know this story, but and this is this is a good illustration of everything that we just talked about. See, in this parable, you know the story. The young, the, the, there's this father who has two sons, right? The young and the and the older son. But one day, the young son decided that he would leave his father, leave his family, and and go to another city. And said to his father, Father, give me my inheritance. I want to leave this house. I want to leave you. I want to go there to a city. I want to live by myself. I'm a, I'm a young man now. I know what I'm doing. Right? So the father gave him the portion of his inheritance. And so he left. He left his father. Went to the distant country or distant city. And you know what happened? That's why he was called prodigal son, meaning, you know, he squandered, he squandered the money, the inheritance, you know, he, he used his money to buy happiness, he wanna be happy, right? He wanna be, he, he wants to, to be fulfilled, he wants to be happy in his life, and so he used all his money to make himself happy. He was trusting in his own judgment, he was trusting in, 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 in his own self. But you know the story, right? You know the story? A time came, a time came when he went bankrupt. There's no more money. And it says in the parable that the, the, that time there was a famine in the land, meaning Tagirah. There's a famine already in the land. Alright? So he, he, went, he, he, he could be looking for a job by that time because he doesn't have money. But there's no job available because there's famine. It's a difficult economic time during the time. Right? And so the only, the only job available is feeding the pigs. And so, what other he has no, he has no, he has no choice but to, to, to go there because he was already, you know, he has no money, he has, he has, he has uh, eaten for a long uh, time, and so he was very hungry, and he's even longing for that, for that, for that thing that the, the, the pig is eating. That's, that, that's so miserable. He went miserable. Those who are after the Lord trust himself. Those who are after the Lord is destroying themselves. He want to do it in his own self. He want to he want to live his life his own. He he want to, to to be happy on his own terms. And that's what happens. He's, he's destroyed. And then he came to his senses. He came to his senses and said, What am I doing? What have I done? What have I done? Now I'm even living with the pigs. And he remembered his father. In his father's house, there are servants that are well off. There are servants which have lots of money. There are servants, but they are, you know, they are living a, a very good life. They are only servants. But me here, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not into it here. So he came to and he said, I will go back to my father. I will go back to my father and I will say, Father, I have sinned against you. Read that in Luke chapter 15. Father, I have sinned against you. I am not worthy to be called your son anymore. Count me. I, 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 I hire me as a servant. That's what he was thinking. I'm not worthy to be called your son anymore. Hire me as a servant. <coughs> so what happened? He decided to go back and see, and see there in Luke chapter 15, from way off, way off, the father saw his son. The father saw his son. And when he saw his son, his father ran to his son. It was not the son who ran to the father. It was the father who saw him in the distance. That's my son. Siguro ganun pa lang pagkakita niya is a small kanota. Kasi he's distant. He's distant. But he knew. He knew. That's my son. So he ran. He ran and he threw him his arms. He embraced the son and he kissed him. Left and right, left and right. He kissed the son. And then the, 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 the son was 
son says, Father, I, you know, memorize young, you know, he memorized his, his thing. He was saying, Father, I have sinned against you. I'm not worthy to become your son. And the father said, Stop! Stop! Servants, bring the robe. Bring the best robe. Bring the ring. Bring the stamps, the sandals. Bring it to my son. That's the time, probably, the son, in the midnight, Dumi-madumi, it's filthy, it's like torn, it's ripped off, everything is, 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 is a total rat. You know, in, 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 in that sense. But the father, filled with compassion, praise him and give him the best robe and give him the ring. And sandals, this signifies sonship. When you have the robe, when you have the ring, when you have the sandals, it means the father still recognizes you are my son. Yes, you have done something foolish, but you are still my son. That's how God loves you. That's how God loves you. When you are a child of God, when you are a son of God, yes, we will fail. Yes, I will fail. But God's love never changed. He still loves you, my friend. Don't think that you are unworthy anymore because you have done that stupid thing. Don't think that you are not worthy to come to God anymore because you've done that evil thing. God loves you. He demonstrated His love towards you when Christ died on the cross. What else, what evidence do you want? His father loved his son so much that he didn't even care what he would say. He just loved him. And then the, it says in the text of Luke 15, there was this celebration. Come, let's celebrate. Come, let's celebrate. There is joy. The father must be filled with joy in seeing his son again. He said the son of man was dead. Now he's alive. He was not physically, right? Then it turns that he went and ran away from me, but now he's alive and he's, he came back. God celebrates. The Bible says that there is rejoicing in heaven with one repentant sinner. If one sinner repents, if you repent, if you turn away from your sin, heaven rejoices. The Father God in heaven rejoices because that's how God loves you. And I don't think the father in your home is rejoicing. The son is rejoicing. He must be in complete shock. Because he was expecting more. He was just expecting. If I can just be at my father's house and even be a servant, that's going to be okay for me because I'm not worthy anymore. But the father said, no, you are my son. Take this room. You are my son. Take this room. Take this son. He restored. He restored. He restored. Psalms 51 says, David when he sinned against God. And when he repented, he said, God, restore to me the joy of my salvation. God wants us to enjoy Him. We are His sons. Daughters. If you have faith in Christ, you are son, daughter. You don't need to live a life that is like a slave or servant. That you will, will, you will work for to receive the goodness of your father. The father, the father is pleased when he saw his son celebrating, enjoying. Enjoying the new robe, amen? Enjoying the, the ring, enjoying the new sandals, enjoying again the house that is with his father. He enjoyed that relationship again. That's the will of God for you today. God wants you to enjoy him, to restore the joy of your salvation. God doesn't want us to be like servants, like slaves. God doesn't want us to be under the law. God wants us to be set free from that and have this God of this universe to be your Father. Father, I'm a Father. That's what God wants. My 
last point, last point. Consider the older brother. When the older brother heard about the, the celebration, he was so furious, he was so upset. This foolish brother of mine came, he squandered all his money, he came and then my father celebrates. He could not take it. He could not understand why that happened. So he didn't join the celebration. The father said, and he came to his, his older brother, and the father said, Oh, yeah, why are you not? Why are you not celebrating with us? Listen, listen, church of Jesus, this is something. The brother, the older brother said, Look, Christine, let, let me read that to you. Look, Christine. The older brother said, he was angry, he refused to go in. His father came out and said, Look, he answered his father, Look, these many years I have served you, and I never disobeyed your command under the law. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. Think about it. Think about it. I was going to say to you, Father, how many years I've been slaving to you? I've been serving you like slaves, like a servant. I've been trying to earn your favor. You didn't give me any goat to celebrate with my, with my friends. Trying to earn the favor, the kindness of the Father. And the Father said, listen to this. The Father said, Son, you are with me always. Son, you are always. You are in my house. You are my son. All that is mine is yours. Wow. All that is mine is yours, said the Father. And this son. The son is slaving, the son is trying to earn the favor of God when he can, when he could have enjoyed his father, when he could have enjoyed the gifts of his father because he is a child, he is a son of his father. Many times we live like that. We are children of God, and yet we are trying to earn the favor of many of us. Oh, I have to be, I have to be good to God to bless me. I have to be faithful to God to God to bless me. Very things, point system. But we see today, we see today, Jesus came to set you free. Jesus wants us to enjoy. How many of you want to enjoy life? I mean, not that, right? We all want to enjoy life. None of us want to live a miserable life. All of us want to enjoy life. Amen? But if you really want to enjoy life, you got to enjoy it with God, with your Father in heaven. If you, if you Try to enjoy life on your own and separate from God. We are like the prodigal son. We will squander everything and we will find our lives broken and hopeless and miserable. I don't care if you're successful. I don't care if you have money. I don't care if you have things for this world. You will live a miserable life without Jesus. You will live a hopeless, purposeless, meaningless life without God, without Jesus. So I pray, I pray. As we look at this verse, Galatians 4, in the appointed time, God sent forth His Son, born of woman, born under the beginning. Jesus became like us to redeem us to redeem us from the Lord and to and for us to receive the adoption as sons. I pray that they will trust God. The 
we will receive Jesus. Do not trust the one. Do not trust yourself. Do not trust God. Trust. Trust his promises. Trust his promises. Receive Jesus. Let Jesus, let Jesus go in your life. And enjoy it. Enjoy it, Father. As we celebrate Christmas, let's enjoy our, our Father in heaven. Amen. He is a good, good father. There's nothing that we can do for God to love us more. There's nothing that we cannot do for God to love us less. He loves us. He loves us. But let that love, let that love not be a license for sin. Let that love, and provision of love for God causes us to love Him, causes us to obey Him, causes us to worship God.